Welcome to the Scheme and Dream Podcast. Before today's episode, I first wanted to talk about our merch. If you're interested in buying any, there's hoodies, t-shirts, mugs, uh, bucket hats, glasses, bunch of shit. The link is in the description and in the Instagram bio at Scheme and Dream and Pod, or you can buy yourself at snackspot se slash career slash teespring.com. Thanks, Daddy. Good work out there, honey. We will be streaming WWE SmackDown at 8 p.m. this Friday on SnackSpot underscore SE on Twitch. Link in the Instagram bio, and we'll be competing for the funniest joke, and we, I plan on going home with the belt. And finally, if you're interested in advertising on this show or our twin show, Two in the Cooler, email SnackSpotSports at gmail.com for details on how you can start reaching thousands of listeners in the Buffalo area and beyond. Welcome back to the Scheming and Dreaming Pod. We have our special guest, Andrew, the man with one kidney. I have one kidney. I gave the other one away uh, to a beautiful Russian family, but it was worth it. They they went to bed with full stomachs that night. <laughs> you gave your other half to a Vietnam vet. The other half to a Vietnam vet, yes. And who, your dog to him, right? <laughs> and my dog as well. Uh, but and I, your I, child. And my child and as ten well. Bucks. <laughs> it was a female. He didn't want it. Well, I had to keep sweetening the pot. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm on board with whatever China does, so if they say get rid of the, the first firehouse, female. It was that or the firehouse door studs. Oh, man. Wait, why did you diss China? Oh, I, we didn't really diss China. We just said we didn't want them uh, looking at stuff on our phones. That's weird because my quote here says, we need to get them out of our country. All of China? Yeah. Or the that was Ch- Chinese from Andrew Canada. No, no, no. I didn't say that. What we need to do is round them all up, and we'll just put them in little <laughs> communities. Oh, so you're saying that since they can't focus in school, they're going to put them in a concentration camp. Yeah. They have trouble. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. For <laughs> ADHD ca- kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When your kid has ADHD, yeah. you, put them, you send them to a concentration camp. Yeah. That's like a dark joke for a popsicle stick. <laughs> Can you imagine like changing like that eating a life? rainbow pop? Just yeah. fucking, <laughs> the vomit says put ADHD kids in concentration camps. Like what the fuck? There's I feel, no opener. I feel like Anthony Jeselnik or someone like that got that popsicle stick and just went with it. That does sound like that'd be a good joke for him. Yeah, that guy's I actually damn funny. I watched one of his like older stand-ups like back in the day, and he still has one of my favorite jokes I've ever heard on uh, stand-up. He was like, "It's like my ex-girlfriend emailed me." He's like, she goes, I have AIDS. You should get yourself tested. I didn't know what to say back, so I said, congratulations. <laughs> shark party. Shark party was hilarious. You know about the shark party? Why mm-hmm. is show this got- show got canceled because of this. He, oh, uh, the Jesselnik Offensive? That yep. was a funny show. Yeah. He got canceled because um, some dude got eaten by a shark. <laughs> he said, it's so rare that that happens. So he brought out a bunch of shark people. And they turned out to be strippers in the shark costumes. And they started giving him a lap dance, like all the sharks. And he had a shark party for like 20 minutes. And he got sued. They got sued. What? The family sued him and his show got canceled. Oh, that's lame. I don't know. know. It's hilarious. That is pretty funny. But it's definitely nothing to get canceled over. No. But Comedy Central um, is fucked. Like They just 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 fucked up everything. The one after South Park. No, that it, one? Yeah, it's like an animated show, yeah. and they got like big. He- they look like little fucking. They're like, like weebles. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Like, fair view. It, it looks terrible. Yeah, it's gonna it, be. It, it looks like one of the worst shows I've ever seen. Yeah, it might course. be the funniest though. No, okay. it didn't seem very. Well, let's hear him out. Keep going. Okay, why? I actually just heard a quote, and I don't remember from who, but uh-huh. I was watching Hot Ones, and they said like the shittier the animation, typically it's gonna be funnier, because you're going in not expecting anything. Well, I felt like that's, the a, d- that's a that's that a dumb bad. reason for it to be funnier, though. It's just because you have low expectations yes. for it. That doesn't help anybody. I also don't know if that's necessarily true because I, I that's a I don't yeah I don't think that's a good thing to put on people because South Park when it started their animation was obviously pretty crummy. Yeah, it was but like... it w- but they do such a good job with that show. That that was the point. It didn't matter because the show was so funny. Yeah, I know, but a lot of those shows, like The Simpsons, Family uh-huh. Guy. Well, they started funny. out older. Like it, that was probably the best animation they could get back. Oh, in the for day. sure, that is true. Yeah, but they Simpsons was like in the eighties, nineteen eighty nine, and I think running? Family Guy was ninety nine. Yeah. Thirty four seasons. I Will think. Will it ever die? No, I don't know, man. Not as long as the cast is still alive. They've taken pay cuts and stuff to like keep that show going and things like that. So. Mm-hmm. 
Who still watches it? Who's I like, do. I love that. Are you, like a, are you like a diehard Simpsons fan? I am a huge Simpsons fan. I've got Simpsons shit. I'm covered in Simpsons shit oh, right shit. now, actually. I didn't even, I didn't even it's get It's becoming, it's getting, it's, yeah. I see the hat, too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I, love I actually Simpsons. love The Simpsons, too. It's a god, I'm telling you, man, if you I watch. I grew up with that show? Yeah. Some of those jokes are so fucking funny, and they really, it's like the older episodes. They, it was clever. It's super clever. They just, god damn it. They Is it like it. South Park clever? No, it's different. Well, they try and do it more like less like they try to make it more appropriate. South well, that's more a, like well, it's satirical. a network show. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, it's not. It doesn't have really that whole thing. I, it was. Um, it's a lot of I think kind oh. of gags on uh, tropes. I guess I would say in those early seasons, because especially because it was just just built into the Simpsons as kind of a parody mm-hmm. of the family sitcom, right? Yeah. It just, like, made it, like... Like, cartoons were never, like, for adults back then mm-hmm. when they made it. Yeah, so they tried the to game. make, like, the first adult cartoon. The Flintstones was, apparently, when it came out, like, for adults. Really? Yeah. That's crazy. Because that was the first ever animated primetime show. And they... Well, they... Well, not that this mattered back then, but they, like, had... You know, you've seen those Flintstone commercials yeah. where they're, like, selling cigarettes and stuff? Yeah. 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 So... Well, cigarettes are for the kids. Cigarettes, cigarettes are kids. Yeah, cigarettes yeah. are cigarettes for children. Cigarettes have never been linked to any sort of bad thing happening. Yeah, that's what I've heard. Person. I haven't. Which is crazy. I don't know how that myth got started. My grandpa, he's old as shit now. He's like in his 80s, and he's been smoking since he was like out of the womb, I think. And he told me that if he stopped smoking cigarettes, he would die. That's I believe him. Possible. So if I stopped smoking cigarettes today, I would die tomorrow. Well, you never know. I mean, for one thing, the withdrawal? Nicot- nicotine withdrawal, that'll do Almost something to ben. you. Yeah. <laughs> I bet it did. It's similar to heroin. When you've been on it for a long, uh-huh. long time. Yeah. Have you d- heroin? Have you uh, done heroin? I have not, so I don't know this. Not yet. But, well, I've, heard, but I've heard like from a heroin addict. That the withdrawal was similar because they tried quitting cigs. So he it chose heroin. <laughs> so he tried still quitting on the cigs. cigs and heroin at the same time, and he was like, "No, I think it had to be spaced out because you need like oh, the cigs sure. and shit. You need That's something." It. Well, even when you quit cigarettes, people will always go to like coffee's a big one, right? Yeah. For even anybody trying to quit anything, like, gum alcohol, too. Gum. They're just fucking chewing. Yeah, sure. I've heard there are a lot of <laughs> benefits to spitting. To spitting, just yeah. all, just I love to spit, just spitting on people in their mouths, things like Wait, that. So There's a lot of health benefits to it. Yep, yeah, lots I, of spitting. I, I, are you fucking with us or what? no? Because the whole thing lubricates your joints, so it makes people you feel had a me lot at younger. Lubricate. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's it's nature's lube. <laughs> it kind of is. <laughs> it a hundred percent is. That's absolutely true. That's gonna get us. That That's the name of the episode. Right oh, yeah, there. baby. That's the name of the episode. Nature's Lou. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Or, nice. Or nice. just spit. <laughs> spit. Yeah. Love I, spitting. It's a great word too. Spit. spit? Yeah. Spit's hilarious every time. I, I spit. That word's hilarious. Good Wood's, dog name. Wood is so that funny. That is a great dog name. Spit. I w- wish we named Miller Spit. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, it's just <laughs> inbred cat. Yeah, it is inbred cat. I found out it was a guy the other day. Yeah, he has a dick. Thought it was a female. No, he's he's a boy. We have no idea how old he is. He's fat. We know that for sure. Okay, that's something. Yeah. You don't like spade or neuter any of your pets. No, he's neutered. Oh, okay. My my puppy's not. not. No yeah. dog balls. Uh, yeah, dog balls. I said that. Um, he can get his balls cut off if he tells me he wants them cut off. <laughs> <laughs> that's Pro- the only way. You're pro-choice. I am pro-choice. I'm very pro-choice. <laughs> you have to respect it. Yeah. I'm sure he appreciates it. He, he might not realize it. When he gets older, I yeah, think he'll he, look back and, and... Be like, you know what? That was pretty cool of him. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's trying to end racism. <laughs> he's successfully ending He racism. told me last night... Did you see the Brian Flores text? He's ending racism currently. Yeah. His dog told me uh, last night when I woke him up from a nap. He said, don't wake me up, white man. <laughs> now you're fucking... <laughs> Not your fucking object anymore. That's he, what told, he, said. he told me the end is near. I don't know if that means my end uh-huh. or racism. You might know that you live in Orchard Park. He can smell it. He can. He is fucking. He smells. Good. He smells that shit. He also put a hole in my pants. Yep. That's why he woke him up. And he tried taking my shoes. He's a big shoe guy. <laughs> he he loves, loves shoes. He does love shoes. Jordan head, you know. <laughs> no, I have a girlfriend. I don't know what you're talking about. It's disgusting. <laughs> Andrew, give me your first random thought you think of. 
<laughs> balloons? Mm. Water balloons? Cum filled balloons? Well, you could film with cum. That would take. I watched that. I, I watched that. Can you imagine letting it go? Well, the thing is, I don't know if it would uh, pop the same way. Who was that guy with the giant PS that died? Uh, uh, Cuban Superman? Mandingo? No, Mandingo's alive. It's the other guy. OG Mudbone? OG Mudbone. No, I knew it. Yeah, I watched that video in eighth grade, and he could definitely fill up a bunch of balloons with his cum. I had to picture his milk. But that what was the only way it not be grossed yeah. out. If you fill sure, if you filled a water balloon with semen though, would and you threw it, would it pop the same way as a water balloon? Yeah. I feel like it would have. It pops so? there. Depends the Yeah, yeah. The thing but, I can't figure out about balloons though is where do they put the know. springs? Because <laughs> how does it bounce? Keep going. You can, you'll figure it out. What do you mean? I think if you put your mind to it, you can figure out where they put the springs. Or I just, think you just got to Just figure look. out balloons as a whole. No, <laughs> no, you blow you blow air into the hole. But how do they bounce and float? That's what I'm wondering. That's why I asked. <laughs> Fucking the, pay attention, <laughs> idiot. <laughs> I think it would uh, be determined by the viscosity of the cum. I don't oh, know what any of those words Yeah, for sure. I just wanted Bob. to throw a big word out so fast. Yeah, nicely a little, done. A little rattled. That's a good podcast and vocab. Yeah, what'd you yeah. get on your SATs? Uh, N.A. <laughs> 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 I wasn't there for it. I didn't need it. Yeah, you didn't. We still went to the same college. You did. You see, <laughs> well, baby. <laughs> I, got, I got the degree. I didn't need one. I got the greedy odorant at home. I just don't hang it up. I'm not an asshole. <laughs> That's got to be racist. I heard they're taking like the SATs online or something this year. Like oh, everybody I would just cheat. do it, oh, yeah, or they're, cheat, maybe they're yeah. changing the whole thing. I don't know why you wouldn't cheat. It's, yeah, not cheating on tests is dumb. Yeah. I oh, dude! Every single time I had an online test, I cheated. Oh, of like, course, a hundred percent. All tests should be open Man. book, anyways. So, here's something I want to talk to you about, Andrew. <laughs> okay. Our uh, a professor at our old college. Yeah. Did you read about him? No. At oh Fredonia? shit! Even Do you I know know have this? Emily. Bad. Bad. It's insane. This guy. Well, hold on. Has it, has his name been said publicly? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So then, just he say who also it is. said it publicly. Yes, and he wrote a book about um about banging kids like children. And this who guy. Who is it? Fuck he was guy. the ethics professor. Classic. Uh, Kirshner. Kirshner, okay. A philosophy professor? Philosophy I do professor? remember him now. I ha- <laughs> the pictures of him, when I saw the pictures, I was like, oh, I know who that guy is. Yeah. Was he the bald one? No. I think. No, no. He has, like, curly hair. Yeah. Okay. Dark so, hair, glasses, I think. Okay. He looks like a, like a child monster. But yeah. he, yeah, he I don't know him. pretty much wrote a book in, like, 2015 about how having sex with children is okay. Interesting. Because he said kids can make their own decisions, like... For kickball on that, choosing teams, so they should be able to choose people's balls. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. That is. He's like, he's like Jeffrey Epstein in Aristotle's brain. <laughs> <laughs> well, he'd still Without be the money, he yeah, it. no money. Yeah, there's a uh, dude. Yeah, so there's um a a movement now. If you're about to, to get into details about a uh, sex, no, I know, I know what you're, you're talking about. Oh, do you? Yeah, map. I don't know map, but aren't they trying to make it a mental disorder? Well, probably they they have, and I mean, it's there. There are cases where um, there's one case in particular that I know of where this guy started getting attracted to children, and he went to his doctor, and he was like, "Hey, help, help, help!" Yeah. help. Took an MRI. Turns out he had a tumor. Took oh. it out, wasn't attracted to children anymore. Years later, he once again started becoming attracted to children, went back to the doctor. Sure enough, that tumor was growing back. What the fuck? Yeah. And there's another case where some guy who was a child molester killed himself a long time ago, and he was like, in his suicide note, was like, please take a look at my brain because there's something happening here that's not right. There's no way that's the case for every single one. Yeah. It's an alien evasion. And it's such a bad... Being a child molester is probably the worst thing a person can be. Yeah, I agree. So I think that's a situation where... uh, Name five things worse than child molestation. I agree. It's worse than murder. Oh, okay. I thought you put (laughs) a question mark on it. No, I said, yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. No, I think 
that was pretty bad. I think that's probably the worst. And then rapist, and then yeah. murder. Yeah. Probably in that order. Child rape, dog murder regular rape. before regular murder. Yeah, animal abuser is definitely in there. How do you hit animals? It's yeah. so fucked up. That is fucked up. But there's this movement going on. And, you know, the the term movement, like, it's you can apply it to anything yeah. these days because there's just so many people talking about so many things yeah. online. But there's a movement um, where people are trying to, um, I guess, I don't really know what it is. Maybe, <laughs> I think it's literally normalize people who want to have sex with children. And instead of referring to them as pedophiles... Or pieces of shit. They want to call them maps, which is minor. What is that? Minor attraction. attracted person, which is uh, bad. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah, maps already a word. Yeah, too. door. <laughs> you yeah, know, door's about to get real him. weird. <laughs> 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 she goes, "Let's go to my map." And pulls a fucking Jared from Subway out of her backpack. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jared. That concept's just fucked up. I did research it, and Jared is still in prison for how long? I can't long? believe he's still alive. Like 10, 15 more years. He's probably not in, like, general population. He's got to be protected. He's in right? subway prison. <laughs> subway jail. He's, he's just, getting fed the tuna in there every just, day. Oh, boy. It's not real tuna. Good soup There's no subway. fish in there. Really? Yeah. They did a, like, a... They did a research on it, and they said there's no signs of fish, and they have no idea what meat is in it. Interesting. It know. says, when I, would, when I worked at Subway... The, the Subway tuna comes in these, probably about this big, these, like, silver, they almost look like those manila envelopes, but they're silver, kind of plasticky material, and it just got a big, like, no dolphin sticker on it, and it's it's literally just a sheet of tuna, or whatever this meat actually is, and you, you have to cut off the top, and then you, like, dump it, and it all slides out in one block Ew, of this fish-esque shit. meat. Then you have to mix it with mayonnaise, and... With your hands, you can't do it. It doesn't work with a spoon. You have to go in yourself and, like, mush it up. If you order anything with tuna on Subway, you deserve, like, six months in prison. For the first offender. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a first offense. Second. F- five years and then uh, life. Yeah. <laughs> you get three strikes. Um, have you ever eaten the tuna from Subway? No, absolutely not. I don't like tuna in general. Me either. And there's no way I would go yeah. for the subway tuna. I'll eat like the flavored tuna packets. I actually saw that, that the sounds guy more disgusting. Like sweet and spicy is okay. You don't that really sounds taste the tuna. that sounds so gross, Ben. Nah, not you nice. have such strange dude, taste. Dude, tell him what you bought when I went to your house after we recorded last week. Oh, I was eating seaweed. You brought seaweed. That's not that weird. It was no soy, soy sauce seaweed. It yeah, was the most disgusting that's not, thing. That's it's so healthy for you. It too. was. Ter- it tasted terrible. Dude, it I, tasted I, like I've you abs- shoved it up your ass and then dropped on the floor. And put it in and, soy sauce. Yeah, it was so soy bad. sauce masks any flavor. It though. does. It's soy crunchy. Sauce is a powerful thing. It yeah, it tastes like that. Asian food. Me, that's racist. Me and my girlfriend, we actually went to get sushi. I think uh, what's today? Friday on Wednesday, and uh, dude, we had this waiter. He was awesome. I have to. This guy talked like this. He'd be like, "Excuse my reach, sir." Like he took it so serious. Oh, we were, I love him. He's oh, the yeah. only waiter at this place. And he's like, he's like, do you need a couple more minutes? You want me to bring you some waters, man? And I'm like, yeah, man, I'd love water. <laughs> he's like, just fucking so, he was either permanently high or just like the weirdest dude ever. <laughs> and I just couldn't figure it out. And every time he would come over, my girlfriend would be like, dude, I just wish he would stop coming to our table. And I was like rude for him. I'm like, yeah, man, come on over. I was like, you want some? It's like, oh, I'm good, man. Don't worry about it. I'm like, All right, oh, dude. man. I love good waiters. Good waiters are the thing the is best. he took forever to always come over, but he would be over for so long every so time. Yeah, so he's making he up, for, up it. for it. Yeah, yeah. That's I. I was team him the whole time. Waiters make the restaurant. Waiters do make the the restaurant. I love. All I want to do when I go to a restaurant is make the waiter feel appreciated. Because mm-hmm. if you if you treat them like a human being, yeah. they will appreciate that because so many people don't. Yeah, I know. People are so And, like, you have to tip well. It just, like, when people order and they don't look at the waiter, that makes me really angry. And I also... It's, it's just having manners. It's just yeah. having manners, dude. Like, say hi. How's your day? Just yeah. anything. Just, Simple like, don't... Shit. 
you know, like there is, it's obviously in uh, uh, that situation, it's just inherently set up. Like another word for a waiter is server, right? Yeah. So it, there is a hierarchy just innately in that. Yeah. But if you buy into that as a customer, you're a piece of shit. Yeah. Like you have that. And that's. And, and then people won't tip. The I whole, hate people the whole no tip. tip people. Fuck I don't like them. people that. I also don't like when people just don't tip well. You know, like I. Yeah. I'll tell you what though. This I'm not doubling the sound tax. like a dick. I don't like when people, um, like restaurants, have the tip included and then tell you to tip again. That can be that can be tough, but that's one of those things where it's like you gotta do it for large parties. But I hate it. Yeah, large parties, sure. Yeah, but that's again, that's one of those things where like you know, folks have been burned before. Yeah, yeah, that's true. So I don't. I it's a tough. I mean, that's yeah, a tough situation. I, I do it, you know? but like it's like right. this is uh, like why do I have to double tip? I try that to tip does at, make sense. I, yeah. I agree with you. But I try to tip at least like thirty percent. I tip more yeah. if my meals last. I actually watched sense. him go to Denny's. I don't think I've told this story on here, have I? But we went to Denny's once after we were working at Chuck E. Cheese, and he didn't have a car yet. So I was driving him home after we closed. And <laughs> Ben got, like, a $10 meal. He tipped the waiter 20 The waiter uh, it starts at, like, 20 when I tip. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and the waiter um, thought Ben was flirting with him. So Ben added the waiter on Snapchat. Oh, as, yeah. And then he, sent me, uh, he sent him a bunch of shirtless pictures. In the shower. Yeah. Mm. Asking if I wanted to come over. <laughs> Interesting. I didn't, but I was intrigued. Ben I, didn't did. know, I didn't know what yeah. he meant at first. I thought he wanted a party. <laughs> he did. <laughs> I think he, he, he did. wanted a party in your asshole. <laughs> <laughs> I, think he, I think he thought I was a cop. I, I, there's not he was much. wrong, but I think that's what he thought. <laughs> he was wrong. <laughs> Looks can be deceiving. So, Ben, how was Doc's last week? You went and I didn't. I did go to Doc Sullivan's. Uh, I ended up getting really close to blacking out. <laughs> I also went to, you ever been to Molly McGuire's? Mm-mm. I hate Molly's. It's great. It's terrible. From the outside? <laughs> it's like, about as big as this stu- <laughs> this room. Yeah. Like, looking at it on the outside in, like, it never looks open. And it looks like a spot where, like, you just go roo- to get just, stabbed. Yeah, like, roof and all's <laughs> flying. Yeah. But you walk in like you're expecting rats and shit, but it's a great time. I like a little chaos in a place. It's great it after you go to another bar. You have to be drunk. <laughs> you have to be hammered. Yeah, I um, get that. So, Andrew, a lot of people don't know this, but you used to live in Florida, right? Yeah. And how Central old, Florida. How old were you when you lived in Florida? 18, I think. Um, how long did you live there? I only lived. I lived there for a year and a half, maybe something like that. I didn't live there for super long. What's the craziest, most Florida shit you've ever seen? Oh, I, I don't know if I have anything super crazy to say. Um, working at the subway was a big thing, but also I have a very high tolerance for crazy. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. You like, do choose to hang out with us. You, I'm about to say you hired. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you gave us a platform. Best, de- yeah. best decision I ever made. <laughs> Um, oh, it was. It was. I think about it. Ev- I think that every time before I go to sleep at night, I'm like, thank God I gave Ben and Jake a podcast. Um, but Florida, you know, just like, well, I literally just told this on Two in the Cooler two weeks ago, I think. But I worked at, Sub- when I worked at Subway, it was down in Central Florida. Mm-hmm. And that Subway was crazy. Always popping? It Well, <laughs> God damn. I mean, the one thing that was really weird was this one day, this big guy came in, and he had, like, a bunch of neck tattoos. Mm-hmm. And he uh, walked through the front door, and he was carrying this brown paper bag. And he just threw it in the garbage can and then left. <laughs> Did he get the bag? So you looked at the bag, right? No. I was like, what? I was like, it's going to explode. I would have 100% looked in the bag. <laughs> Looking back on it, sure. It's and it probably definitely had. Was. This one time, well, the thing is, um, a lot of people do drugs in the bathroom at Subway, yeah. like heroin. Yeah. So I you'd used have to work to be, at Tim Horton, same thing. Yeah, so you have to be careful when you clean the bathroom because there, there's like needles. needles around. So this one time, though, this this woman that I worked with was so nice, but this was a dumb fucking thing to do. This I'm washing dishes in the back. And this lady comes in uh, with her kid, who's like five. Mm-hmm. And she comes up to the counter and she says to this girl I worked with, can I have a, can I have a spoon? So the girl's like, yeah, absolutely. Hands her like one of the sporks at Subway. And she goes, uh, do you guys have like a metal spoon? <laughs> so this girl's like, yeah, absolutely. She walks back. She grabs one of these giant 
metal spoons that we'd use to like mix shit and gives it to this woman. The woman goes into the bathroom to do drugs. Yeah. Heroin. Yeah. No, and it's heroin. You heroin. Yeah, you gotta melt it. Yeah. Sure. We've all seen Pulp Fiction. And uh, she That's leaves the kid out in the lobby and then she was done doing her drugs and she like left with the kid and I was like, a, a cop came in a couple minutes later and we're like, this woman just is super high and then walked out of here. If you want to go check it out and he got out of there and hopefully found so it. So Subway but. is daycare for heroin addicts. <clears throat> it was, the Subway that I went to was. But, um, so the, the social structure of the Subway that I worked at was very interesting. The manager, who was so nice, his baby mama worked there. She was the girl who gave out the spoon. They um, broke up while I was there. I only worked there for not a super long time. So, like, were you actually, like, at the store witnessing a breakup? Or, like, did it happen? No, they broke up, like, at home. Okay. It would have been hilarious if they broke up in front of you. It would have been fascinating. (laughs) Subway would have been next door. They, um... So they broke up while I was there, and then this other girl transferred from a different subway, and I was working with her her first night there, and immediately she just starts talking and talking and talking about her baby daddy and how she hates him, but sometimes they still hook up and blah, blah, blah. So then it's like 6 o'clock, and there's a ton of people coming in for dinner, Mm -hmm. and I'm making sandwiches. I'm like, where is this chick? I look out those big subway glass windows, and she is laid out on the hood of a car being felt up by some guy who's got his tongue super far down her throat. (laughs) A few minutes later, she comes back in, and she's like, yeah, that was my baby daddy. So I was like, oh, okay. (laughs) Um, Two weeks after that, she started dating the manager whose baby mama still worked at that subway. Holy fuck. So they started dating. And, like, this one time, um, the manager and this new girl, they both, they were going to take their kids to the beach. Mm -hmm. So they came to subway first. The manager clocked them both in, and then they left, and they didn't come back. Holy shit. Oh, yeah. And I worked with this other woman, um, Oogie Boogie, Mm. who... I called her that because um, the first day I worked ever worked at this subway, she came in and she pulled her bike in to the back and she set her purse down and I see something out of the corner of my eye. I look over, there's cockroaches climbing out of this woman's purse. <laughs> Holy and shit. she was nuts. She sounds nuts. She was a subway lifer. She'd been there for like fifteen years and she you know She's an NPC. <laughs> she's <laughs> dude, for real. Like very few teeth. And I just remember this one day, she just would not stop saying, she's like, I don't need my birthday off, but I need the day after my birthday off. (laughs) (laughs) She said that like six times in four hours. Probably got funnier and funnier. Yeah, it probably hit every time. Oh, dude. The only thing I've ever heard, like one of my favorite (laughs) Florida stories I've ever heard, is this YouTuber I watch. He's hilarious, but he... uh. He was like, I, he was like, this is the strangest thing that's ever happened to me in Florida. He's like, so I got an Uber. He's like, and I'm driving to the, or he's driving me to the airport, and we're on the like throughway. He's like, and we, you know, the, me and the Uber driver are just talking. It's like completely normal. And then the Uber driver points to this car in front of me and goes, "He's gonna hit the guardrail." And he was like, I was like, that guy's driving like perfectly normal like it's so normal he goes that dude swerves and hits the guardrail like less than 10 seconds later i was like ah fuck he's like yeah that's the weirdest thing it's a different world down there man he's like the guy just like closed his eyes and pointed he knew he did it he made he that went happen to, he went to like 11 and stranger things like yeah like blood <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a weird spot there's just like sand everywhere. I didn't live uh-huh. near a beach, but there was just sand like in the middle of the sidewalk. You ever seen a gator? Um, uh, just once, but not really close to where I live. That's it was terrifying. very small, but there terrifying. it was. It was baby. Terrifying. It was very tiny. All of them are scary. I fucking hate alligators. Yeah, man. My second biggest fear. I got very much in. I I got very into this thing called sub mechanophobia one time what the hell is that it's so interesting it's the fear of uh mechanical moving typically moving mechanical things that are underwater so it's a lot of like submarines but it's a lot of like um theme park shit 
you know, where like the the old Universal Jaws ride mm-hmm. where the shark would like come out of the oh, water, okay. or um, the one that I I made me think of that's really scary was there's that movie you've talked about it before. What's the one with the big alligator? It's called like Lake Placid. Oh or yeah, yeah, yeah. So there was like a Lake Placid. Oh no, this was the alligator for the movie, and they made a. That was like a full-sized robotic alligator yeah, that they made. Yeah, it was fucking huge sure. in the movie. Yeah, and it it was full length. And then uh, I think that at one point it was like stuck at the bottom of that lake and people would just go. But it's this submechanophobia thing. It's so interesting. There's a lot of like abandoned uh, water park things. Or like uh, even at Disney World when you go off the beaten path, there's like abandoned rides that used to have water elements. And so there's all these like very cartoonish sea monster animatronics that are just falling apart. And it's terrifying. But it's so cool. Sounds like the Chuck E. Cheese robot. Yeah. That's exactly what it is, except underwater. (laughs) That'd be terrifying underwater. It was terrifying on land. There's a whole submechanophobia like subculture. Oh, shit. That's really interesting. There's a whole submechanophobia Reddit. That's so funny. I bet those people never step foot in Disney. No way, dude. Because there's all and when you th- there's dude, so much water rides at Disney. A, a couple years ago, they opened like this new King Kong ride at Universal, and Matthew and I were there, and uh, we went on it. And at the end of the ride, there's a life size King Kong head that you know is animatronic, and it's one of the scariest things I've ever seen. <laughs> I can't describe exactly the type of fear that I felt when I saw it, but it was just so. Are you scared of these unsettling? Fear fear bones. Do you think you have those? I gained a little bit of fear after watching those videos, but I'm more interested by it than I am afraid of it. And uh, there's some term I've only heard Eric Andre say it, but I can't remember exactly what it is. But it's this thing. Was it poop in the wine? But it's turn that poop. But it's turn that poop into wine. And, and what, does that, what, does that, that, what does that mean, really? Turn, aren't we all just here trying to turn our poop Truth. into wine? I've been trying for years. If I'm anybody, due. man, if anybody could do it, it's one of us. It, absolutely, yours is already rad. Your poop, so you're good. I know I'm halfway there. I got. <laughs> I'm halfway to a sangria. <laughs> <laughs> oh man um so i want to double back to you on this so i used to work at tim hortons right and you know i saw some pretty crazy shit but the craziest i think that happened so there was like so there's like the actual like restaurant like if you want to call it that and then like on the other side of like the area there's the dumpster and two people were having sex at the dumpster. Like, it, oh, it's always something. Dumpster funny. babies. Top notch. Top yeah, notch. Yeah, that was a good one. And my manager found them. <laughs> she, saw, she, like, was taking the garbage out. She goes, these two people were just fucking in front of me. <laughs> you know, I'm going to tell a work story here, too. Okay. So, it's about a coworker. I won't say their name, but they are deaf. Is it a current coworker? No. Okay. At my old job. And this dude was deaf, right? And he was ho- First of all, he would drive with a bag of dog food. Didn't own a dog. What dog food or dry dog food? Dry. Okay. Giant bag. And he was hooking up with this deaf girl who was dating, who was married to a blind man. Oh my so God. he would fuck so he her gave birth. and sleep in the same bed as the blind man. This is the weirdest nursery rhyme I've ever heard. Yeah. I just wanted and to then, share and that. And they had a child and it was Helen they Keller. They did not have a child. <laughs> shout out. Shout out to Helen Keller. It I don't wasn't know if real. she got arrested for like abuse because he would come into work and like his eye would be swollen and be like, what happened? And be like. And just draw like a frying <laughs> I fell. I fell down the stairs. <laughs> I got hit by a baseball. God De- damn it. Death on death crime was up 15% that year. That was funny as fuck, what you just said about <laughs> that frying pan. That was really goddamn funny. She's, this man, god fucking damn it, he's got to draw hieroglyphics to relate his abuse to people. That is a difficult position to be in. Um, I'm trying to think of other work stories. Oh, this one time. So I used to work at a grocery store when I was in high school. I was like a junior in high school. Interesting. Yeah. Were you cashier? Yes. I can only imagine you hating that job. I wasn't bad at cash at being a cashier, but I did hate the job a yeah. lot. Yeah. You need a math, right? Yes. Math guy. <laughs> oh, confirmed. I, math guy what, confirmed. <laughs> <laughs> but um, so there's one time I was I was like 16, and this guy comes in my line. And he's hammered, like shit faced. And he bought this fucking giant bag of meat. And I was like, "It's forty bucks." And he's like, "Just looking at me, 
just like staring at me, not saying a word. And I was like, all right, man. I was like, do you have, do you have cash? Do you have a card? He's just staring at me. And then he pulls out his wallet. He opens his wallet. He just starts laughing. I was like, uh, it's like, you definitely have enough cash. Uh, do you just want to hand it to me? And he's just like, just staring at me still. And I was like, all right, I'm just going to get my manager. So I got my manager to come over and the guy's fucking just standing there. I was like sitting on my break and then he, I watch him just leave the meet, just walks right out the door, gets in his car. And my manager's like, oh, I really hope he's not about to drive. He starts it. She's like, I have to call the police. And she called the cops. And then he got arrested, actually. Because he just sat in his car, but, like, the keys were in. So, like, oh, okay. I thought this was driver. America. Right. <laughs> I thought this was America. <laughs> but yeah, you can't that was sit in a parked up. car? I mean, not while you're hammered on in the middle of the day on, a, like, a Sunday at one. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I don't but know he wasn't about driving. That. He but drove if, if there, the for in, sure. That's one, right. For heat, right? He drove. No, it was summer. <laughs> I worked there in the summer. You think a good lawyer could have gotten him off? No. Like, maybe he drank it in the car. But that only works if you are in Kansas City. Yeah, if you're in Missouri, you could drink and drive as long as you're not drunk. Yeah. A right. buddy of mine, can... my best friend lives in uh, Missouri, mm-hmm. and he, uh, oh, fuck, what was I going to say about that? Oh, yeah, he lives in this town. It's called Stover, shout out. It's the smallest town you've ever seen. We. So we looked it up on on a map one time and just tried to find out everything about it. Mm-hmm. Town so the town's about this big and we looked at the census information and there's it's like one Asian guy lives in there. One Asian guy lives in the store, but there's two quilt stores on Main Street. In the town of Stover, Missouri, quilt stores outnumber Asian people. <laughs> <laughs> that's they like that's the kind of small town we're talking about. That's not bad. It's a great town. This, he told me this story about one of his buddies um, who, I don't know what kind of life this guy led, but um, he was, they were in the garage drinking beers, and this guy was like, there is no way anybody can run a mile in under 12 minutes. <laughs> and they were like, what? And he's like, unless you are in the Olympics, there is no chance of a human person Running a mile in less than 12 minutes. And my buddy was like, I could absolutely do that. And this guy goes, I'll bet you 100 bucks you can't run a mile in under 12 minutes right now. The guy's like, okay. And then their other friend was like, I'll take that bet. So the guy's like, sounds great. They run a mile and a half in nine minutes. And the guy lost 200 bucks. <laughs> Um, that's just not bright. That's a that, that's a school system. Exist. That's a school system. It's bad. Yeah, on that yeah. One. that's well, just where he Kansas is. is bad out there. You know, instead of sixty five to pass, it's fifty. Oh shit! On tests and stuff. Yeah, like just you need a wow. you need a fifty in your class to pass. Interesting. Oh man, genius. Yeah, yeah we would have been in pretty good shape. Yeah, my friend Matt I had said like that. an eighty eight. I failed the chemistry regents by one point. I got a sixty four ah, on it. Oh, eighty six. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! I took chemistry in oh college God. too and got a C plus. Very nice, very nice. I, I, ever, I don't know if I took chemistry. Do you have to? Yes. Do you? I think you like if you're it. really bad at it though. Do you have to? No, take I don't it? think if you're I, really I bad. I think there's another. There's thing like a non regions chem. Yeah, I think. yeah, yeah. I got passed. I was in the non regions. Yeah. I got an eighty something though. Nice. But they I passed me along in sciences because I didn't know shit. I got like a sixty seven in the class and eighty six on the exam. I have no idea how I pulled it off. But uh. What else are we going to talk about? Andrew, huge movie guy, right? Or yeah. TV show guy, too? Both, yeah. Everything. So, give me your three worst TV shows you've ever watched. Ooh, what a and fascinating not, question. I'm not talking about, like, just one episode and you called it quits. I'm yeah. talking you watched at least three. Oh, man. Ah, like, that is so difficult because we are very similar in the way that s- there's a little bit of us that just loves when something is so bad. We do love terrible mm-hmm. things. I can give you my top 2 because that's all that's really worth mentioning here and they were they were at one point in time they were both on VH1 one right after the other. It was a show called Dating Naked and a I've show heard of that. and a show called Twinning. I've never heard of that. It only was on for one season, but it was okay. fucking amazing. So Dating Naked was a uh, show, it was a dating show where, you know, you, everybody was naked. But it was like there there were these two people who were on an island, and each week 
um, both of them would get like a different date. So there's potential for the two of them to fall in love, and then there's potential for someone to bring mm-hmm. dates on. And there was this one guy who uh, showed up. His name was Vinny, and he was just bad at reading the room. Because this girl, I, I mean, obviously all these people are gorgeous, and this guy yeah. was like middle of the road. And he his idea to impress this woman was to do the mangina. <laughs> And so he's at the pool that's, with the, the tucked, like the the guy and the girl, and he hops out of the hot tub fully tucked, <laughs> and they are like not responding to it. That sounds like bad, but unintentional. So he doubles time. down, and he, he turns sh- around, he shows the fruit basket, and bends over, and he shows the fruit basket, <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, "That's the old locker room. That's it. That's uh, it's a fruit basket. That's what we used to do." <laughs> But the, I, one of the best contestants on the show ever was this guy named Bob. So every week when they would, when a new date would show up, um, the the person, the uh, the girl in this case, she's just waiting on the beach alone, and then from the tree line would come a new naked person to mm-hmm. potentially fall in love with. Yeah. And so this girl is sitting there one day, out of the bushes, Bob. dancing. A real jig in his step walks Bob, <laughs> an 82-year-old man. <laughs> and he, so he, he walks normal first, and then he stops and does a little dance. Yeah, he's letting him know. And then he goes back to walking, and he goes, I can do it while I'm walking. It's a classic <laughs> Bob quote. And he was very charismatic, did not last on the show super long. Um, did he get a nut? I don't think he did. I watched uh, the show called Love is Blind on Netflix. Oh, that show's bad. So it's about these people. So you bring in a bunch of guys, a bunch of girls, and then there's a wall between oh, yeah. them. Like a confessional, like in church. And you can't see anything on the other side. And you go into each room and you talk to a girl. And then you get like a certain number of days and you have to propose to a girl at the end. So this guy had all the girls after him, and he proposes to this random Amber. Yeah, Amber. See, Ben's seen it. I've seen it. And it was, then his name was Blake, I think, right? Yeah, something like that. And he, uh, so this chick was like destroyed by that, by him not proposing to her. So she said yes to a different guy, and then she said yes to Mark. Yeah, Mark. <laughs> And then she she spends the rest of the show just getting blackout wine drunk and talking about how she doesn't like Mark and she wants to marry this other guy. And Mark is just all in. He's like, you know what? She was drunk. It's fine. Like, you know, we're still in love. Because she said yes. And then <laughs> the last... He was a dude, too. He was. And he was just short. He was short. Mm. And th- that was her biggest turn off, though. The other guy was like a fireman. He was he was jacked. Yeah. He played college baseball. He was fucking oh, he was a unit. Wow. Like dad bod jacked. Gotcha, gotcha. And he uh and so this Mark guy, like, the entire show, was just trying to defend this girl. And the girl didn't show up to the wedding. At the end of the last episode. <sighs> Do you remember the one wedding where they got in a huge fight? Yeah. Where I he, thought they were going to make it, too. Yeah. They were, like, the most steady couple throughout the whole show. So they and then she there. just didn't show up. That dude was kind of weird, though. Yeah, he was super weird. Like, he, they there were would both be in a weird. room full of people joking, and he would just say something, like, dark that wasn't funny. And the room would just look at him, and he's like, I like making people feel uncomfortable. Which should have been a red flag for yep, them. Yeah, for sure. But she goes to the wedding. She's all in, right? He walked up to the altar. All he had to do was not show up. Walked up and goes, don't know if I can commit. <laughs> Interesting. And then that guy had, was he the flight. guy that had, like, the red beard? He was, like, kind of ginger. Yeah. yeah. Which, which approach do you think is better? If you are, like, getting married, but then you, you're like, oh, I don't want to do it. Which one do you think is better, not showing up at all or showing up and then when it's time to say I do, being like, nope. I think I'm telling them. I think being honest. Telling, uh, but if it, but if you have to do one of those two. I would probably go and tell them that I can't do it. But you're up there in front of everybody. I would ditch. I wouldn't ditch. I would be like. I don't think I would ditch either, but that's I think still would, pretty shitty. I think, I think it'd be easier for both parties. It'd be easier. Ditch. It's part of the show. If you ditch, like, yeah. leave a little note. But they didn't say Maybe. a word. They just yeah. played the song out, and she never came. He tried reaching out to her after right. the show, too. Mark did. Yeah, and she... 
well. I was not feeling it. And, like, they, they were the only couple that didn't fuck. They didn't have sex the entire time. During it. Crazy. Mark was trying. Mark did try. Well, she was drunk. He, and was, he was, like, drunk. Oh, what was he? He was Mexican, right? No, he was, like, super Italian, I think. Italian, Mexican. Yeah, because he had Mexican family members. Yeah. But, like, he was, like, a fitness instructor, was, like, just a little small, like, jacked and shit. Like, yeah. good-looking guy. And she's all, like... Oh, man, I, I wish I would have chose Blake. Yeah. The worst TV show I've actually ever watched, though, was 13 Reasons Why. I More the, so than uh, that hospital show or whatever, the TikTok Attaway show. Attaway General is beautiful. <laughs> I, nice. I mean, like, you watch it knowing it's going to be terrible. Yeah. But 13 Reasons Why was, like, huge during the first season. So I was yeah. like, I might as well give it a shot. I got to, like... Four episodes, and I was like, this is the worst shit I've ever seen. I'm so glad you hated that show, because there's no way it's good. I mean, like... Who likes it? 13-year-old... Our Justin liked it, our old roommate. It, Wait, really? It was oh, yeah. actually terrible for people that, like, have mental problems. Absolutely. Because, <laughs> like, this chick, they just made her this dramatic-ass, like, girl that was like, no, they said my ass was fat, and then she killed, like, killed herself. It was terrible. I fucking hate that show. Yeah, I don't know what kind of problems they think people have. Having a fat ass is not a reason. <laughs> no. That is, not, that is not in the note. <laughs> Ever. But, but those shows, those shows are my girlfriend not good for anybody. My girlfriend actually made it through the second season. And there was a very controversial scene in the show that Netflix had to, like, step in and take out. You've mentioned this before. Yeah, they showed this. So this kid, he just gets the shit kicked out of him, like, the entire show, I guess. Mm-hmm. And he ends up... This was the breaking point. He ends up shooting up the school. Yeah. In one of the seasons. This is, it had to be the worst school ever. But, um, like, what do they think high school, like, do these people think high school is? I don't know, man. Like, I feel like every single high school TV show has a school shooting. But. Well, I mean, that's. Hey, that's every, true. Every yeah, high yeah, you know what? That's the only thing they're right about. Gun I ranges. Guess. Yeah. First of all. Funniest thing that guy ever said. <laughs> my buddy. But, uh, so there's a scene where. This kid, he's like this scrawny ass, like long haired, like just looking like he plays Fortnite and yells at his mom. And he uh, he goes to school, and this kid fucking gets him in the boys' locker room and shoves a broomstick up his ass. And they show the entire thing. And my girlfriend so they didn't was fake like, it. No, like, <laughs> can you imagine if that was like real method acting? <laughs> yeah, like he asked put it for in it. me. <laughs> Don't be a pussy. It helped me get into character. <laughs> I want to know what he, I want to know Jesus. what he's feeling with that broom inside of him, but uh, yeah. So my girlfriend watched that. I didn't make it that far in the show. Who, who does that in high school? You, I don't know. You know what? If you do that, like, wouldn't you get bullied for being like gay? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure like if that's like what they bully people for any, No, I bully people for that anymore. But well, but like, if you did well, that to someone, you, that would be the stigma, well, right? That's a, well, that's the thing is, I think that a, a problem with these shows, maybe one of them, is that. They think that a big part of high school is people doing terrible, terrible things and then yeah. just getting away with them and everybody's, like, cool with that. Like, sh- people can yeah. do something horrendous. And in some I, ways that's true, but there's obviously a line. Like, I just don't think any high school. You are, no, no high any school high school. Even if, you are some, even if you are some kind of, like, and for some reason the bullies are always very popular in these shows, if you are mm. somehow some very popular bully... Even if you do that, people are going to be like, that's fucked up. Like, hang yeah. on, yeah. Hang yeah, on dude, a second, Hold man. on, why? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, what, what made you do this? <laughs> like, let's get you to, like, we need to get you to talk to somebody. Yeah. yeah. Or they'll just beat them up. Well, I mean. Go 80s style. Well, that's the thing. I think that's what they think 80s style is. And do people, I don't know if I ever really saw people get beat up. I've never. I saw like, some fights. Like, there's been fights, fights, but like, but bull- beat up. Yeah. Like, like beat they never up. just like full on. Even beat just the bullying. Shit out yeah, the bullying as a whole at where we went, wasn't like West I, wasn't like. I never once saw any sort of bullying. Like, like people would be like talking shit to each other on like Twitter or something. Yeah, be Twitter, like, Twitter beef. And then people would be like, "Dude, just relax," and then it would be over with. Yeah. <laughs> like, the like, people were cool. never just like. Even people were furries too. We did have no one said anything to them. We'd make fun of them. <laughs> right which Fucking i think weirdo. is bullying <laughs> yeah we didn't bully anybody we call them fucking pussies because they were doing weird shit but it's so weird they have sex we were just in the letting costume. them know we were just they, letting them know they have sex in the costume that might be cool it's not cool it's probably really know, sweaty dude. all right what animal probably would sweaty, you be but if you're doing it right it always is yeah 
dislike? <laughs> How do I dislike something? <laughs> what would your uh, furry, furry costume animal be? be? That's difficult. Probably. I'm stealing. I'm stealing mine from that girl we used to work with at uh, Chuck Dix. I'm gonna be a dog. Ooh. See, the thing about being a dog or a wolf is that the mask. There's like a, there's a long muzzle, right? There's a long nose. Yeah. So if you're trying to get in there, like suck a dick or something, it makes it way more wait, difficult. Wait, wait, <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Pause. Wait, what do you mean by that? <laughs> what do you mean by that? <laughs> so you know you've seen like a mascot head before. No, right? like I understand. Guys, you're let's a... talk honestly here, okay? Yeah. What what no, else are we I doing? I'm not. <laughs> okay. So if you got this, if you have one of those masks on and you like to suck dick. That would be impeding your ability to have a penis in your. I'm mouth. not talking like just a mask. Though. I'm talking like a full outfit. Sure, but th- this is, this is obviously included. If All you're right. being a dog, then you you have this yeah, this who, head on. Who would want to be a dog? A lot of people, I think. I think do- dogs really? and wolves. That's a very that, popular one. That horses are up there. Yeah. Oh, horses. Same issue, right? My I would be a, uh, which is why I'd probably be, be a tiger. A fucking cow. I'd be an orca. Ooh, that's a great apex a predator, great, baby. That'd be a phenomenal costume. They call me pepperoni because I'm on top. <laughs> All right, let's end phenomenal, the show. Phenomenal quote. <laughs> Thank you. At grinder. Um. All right, man. Oh, we didn't do a fuck Mary kill. No, we didn't. Uh give me a second. You guys talk about something. I'll think of it. I think if you were an orca, you'd be very popular. I don't think That's a lot of people are sea creatures. That, that would be the animal I would want to be. They hunt just sharks for fun. Right. And that's got to be part of it. I mean, Part of being yeah. a furry, right, is like there's... um, It's wish... The whole thing is wish fulfillment. Yeah, exactly. I don't know if it goes as deep as like this is the animal that I feel like I am on the inside, but in yeah. some cases, that's, that's got to be it. I feel like it's not even like sexual attraction to the animals. Right. Almost, but it's just... I. Maybe like the feeling you get from seeing it, maybe. Well, I think that I think that I'm trying to remember because I've seen interviews with furries before. I'm trying to yeah. remember what they said, but I think a part of it is because um, people who are um, a little uncomfortable in their own bodies or feel awkward for yeah. whatever reason, the I mean, being in a furry suit, you're basically like being in a stuffed, yeah. a big stuffed animal, right? And obviously, there's a lot to unpack there. Yeah, but. You know, there obviously uh, as a as children, a lot of people are comforted by stuffed yeah, animals. So that's, that's really the only way they can feel uh, comfortable or even at peace with themselves is to kind of put this yeah, protective layer of fur around them. Although this is a weird metaphor, but it's kind of like you ever been like really really high and you don't want people Constantly. to know you're really really high, <laughs> so you put sunglasses on and you think that does the trick. I don't give a shit if people know oh, I'm. High. That's what I used to do. If I had shades on, I'm good. If I take them off, I'm fucked. <laughs> Dude, you high is just so weird. I hate smoking weed. You yeah. being high I makes get, me hate being high because you freak me out. Dude, I get freaked out I when I smoke weed. I don't get freaked out by the things that you're freaked out about. I get freaked out by you because you're being so weird. I hate being. I hate smoking weed, and people always want me to do it, and I don't understand it. Because people, I'm think not you, fun when I'm high. People think you would be fun when you're yeah, high. I'm not. Thing. But yeah. you, no, you're just like. I'm fun when I do shrooms. If I do Dude. shrooms, I'm fine. If I take one hit of a bowl, I'm fucked. You're like a guy I gotta that cancel escaped plans from tomorrow. hospital when you're high. You're Dude, like, smoking like, oh, weed fuck. is not fun. Fuck, what's going on? Fuck. It, like, brings me back to having a concussion. Right. Um, so, my fuck, Mary kill is uh, <laughs> from Wizards of La- Waverly Place. Okay. The men. I have yeah. the dad, yeah. the brothers, and that's it. Okay, the dad and the two brothers. Yep. Are they 18? No. Uh, now they are. Are we going back then? Oh, so if we're doing like the actors currently, uh, or yeah. those, okay. we're, but they are still in character. Okay, so map, <laughs> map. If you choose one, right? Well, I, I think it's map. If you choose, <laughs> if you yeah, choose one of them. The so. one was like borderline eighteen, right? He was close to. He's 18. like, yeah, he was. But older. the other one was a child. Yeah. yeah, Max was a child. I like Max though. I'm looking up the. Uh, so, okay, so let's make this very clear at first point, Jake. You have to clarify. Are we doing the characters on Wizards of Waverly Place? Are characters. we doing these actors? Characters, not Okay, actors. I, there's no way I'm having sex with a child. Can Shout out to two? Jake T. Austin. I'll kill Selena Gomez, too. She's not No, she's part, not, she's not it's part the of dad. it. It's the dad. Interesting. Oh, man, this is tough. But, I, I mean, I, I already said I'm killing Max because... He's, so you're, he's fu- you're getting fucked by the dad? No, I think magical I could, shit. I think I could top the dad. <laughs> I think I could make it the bottom. 
I'm 100 percent serious. <laughs> I know that's what makes it funny. I think I can think I can. He's got sensitive eyes, man. <laughs> can we get the ass shirt? <laughs> he's, he's got, got sensitive, sensitive eyes, eyes. <laughs> man. He's got sensitive <laughs> eyes, man. Give him a cape. I'm gonna marry the dad. <laughs> Uh, I think I'm gonna marry the brother, Max? not the not the child one. Are we all killing him? Well, that's fucked up. They're more child murderers. Yeah, it's better than child told, molesters. No, no, but, but like, molesters, yeah. but like at their age right now. Okay, so if they're at their age right now, you have to fuck Jake T. Austin though, because he's smoking. He's a good looking dude. <laughs> all right, I'm fucking. Look at this guy. That's pretty. That's a pretty close picture. He kind of looks like now. Jordan Poirier. Uh, except white. Oh, he's a weird looking guy too though. See that? He, in this see. picture he looks a little yeah, bit like that dude who guy. jacked up the price on AIDS medication. He, he looks like that guy from Succession. Yeah, I'm it's killing him. Oh, yeah, Culkins. yeah, yeah. I'm killing him. Oh yeah, him. Kieran Culkin. I might still kill him. Great honestly, actor. Now. Who's the other guy? Um uh David Henry. He looks the exact same. The brother. I just looked at a picture of all yeah, of them. Yeah, yeah. Um I will oh, probably oh, this, God. I'm talking I this know. David Henry? Yeah, that, <laughs> yeah, that, oh yeah. God. <laughs> I'm marrying David Henry. That guy looks like he wrote a book. That guy looks like he invented the meatball. Said he was a- <laughs> oh, that's funny. Invented the meatball. Oh man. Uh, so I'm gonna- I wish we had done the women in this show. <laughs> Why? No, because I like they're I'm more attracted to them than I am the men. That's so oh, homophobic. homophobic. Sorry, this is the last episode. <laughs> yeah, we're getting canceled. <laughs> that's it. By who? I'm not canceling the show. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm going to f- fuck the dad, marry the older brother, and kill J.T. Austin. Because J.T. Austin's head freaks me out. He kind of freaks me out a little bit, I'm going to be honest with <laughs> yeah, you. Yeah, that is weird. He's got a weird head. I think I might have to do the same. I, uh, initially, I maybe wanted to marry the dad, but I don't think... I think that would be a, a, a little age. bit of an emotionally abusive relationship. And I get a weird vibe factor, from him. Age. Eh. <laughs> What are you going to do? You would still top him. <laughs> yeah, you're yeah, still top still top him, bud. Okay, who cares? I'll still top him. All right, boys, any closing thoughts before we head out? Um, I'm so glad that you guys uh, have been doing this show and sticking with it every week. We're here. Um, you've both we done solos here. now, which I know neither of you really like. I've been doing solos for years. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I think that you are both um, very good at this and getting better at it as Thank time you, goes Kate. on. Thank you, you both need to stay on mic better. That's the one thing. That's stay a technical thing. You need to talk into the microphone and I, keep your mouth. Does into my the voice microphone. like carry though better? Your voice carries Bang. very well. Fuck. You got to stay on mic. Bro. Oh shit. Fuck. But again, that's welcome just to Comedy Central roast to Jake Fast. <laughs> Fuck you guys. How about that? <laughs> How about you lose some weight and you get a different shaped head? Nice. <laughs> <laughs> No, I've grown into it. Actually, I've grown out of my head. Matthew, his head when he was a kid. Ginormous? Was, he was walking around like fucking the guy from Minecraft. <laughs> the it guy was from Minecraft. Up. It was really fucked up. But he's grown into it. <laughs> I've done the opposite. <laughs> I don't think your head's like, head looks like a normal head. The beard, I think, helps in the hat yeah. as well. I didn't know what to say, but so I just if I didn't, of, If I yeah. didn't have a beard, I would probably jump out this window. You look like an uncircumcised penis. Yeah, it's Which not Which is one. very, it's very hard to find a girl in the U.S. that likes <laughs> you to actually circle it back, baby. <laughs> Woo, not even on mic. You actually know, look like if do. you got like a buzz cut and shaved your beard, you look like you'd be a thumb. Nah. I think. I got a little jawline. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but it's like a, it's like a middle school jawline. Like, you know? Like how kids Whoa. in middle school. <laughs> map, 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 map. This is Adora. We're done with that. We're calling map. We call map on that. Jake Faz is a proud member of map. No, I don't go to PTA meetings.